Well, Trace, you know what time it is? It is collaboration time. Jack. Nope, it is No Shave November. Yes, it is collaboration time. And we have a special guest. Even more, well, no, they're not even more special. Yeah, we would like to welcome and introduce you guys, if you don't know them already, because they're kind of a big thing, but Chris and Katrina from Our Everyday Getaway, they are joining us in the collaboration this month, and uh, they're going to share their thoughts on the subject, which is... What three things have we bought that we really didn't need to, but we love them anyways. So, you know when you buy a new RV or, or a used RV and they take you into the shop? Oh, yeah. I and they're things. like, you got to have this and you got to have that and you got to have the other thing. Well, guess what? You don't really need. So, we're going to talk about three things on our list. We might even add a, a bonus thing. But the three things that, the three things that, uh, we know you absolutely do not need, but we went ahead and bought them anyway. All right. Oh, and we won't RV without them either. I'll, I'll put that out there, just right off the bat. We'll just put that out. Okay. He's okay. putting that out there, people. I'm putting it out there. He's putting it out there. It is put out. All the way up at number one. So, Trace, you know that every RV comes with a door. What? So you don't need to buy a new door. Oh, but... You will want an RV lock. Yep. So we immediately, when we bought the Montana, the very first thing I think we bought was we changed out our lock to the RV lock. And we did that with our previous, right, uh, with our Keystone Passport also. But the RV lock, you don't need it, but boy, does it make life nice. Keyless entry. We have a fob option. And, and... We don't have the same lock that everybody else in the campground has. And that, to us, was super important. But we just like the convenience. Right. It's so easy. We don't have to take keys with us. Like, if we're walking down to the beach, going for taking the dogs for a walk, we don't have to keep the keys in our pocket and lose them. Yep. And we can just plug in the, the code and opens the door. Now, I will say, we don't use the fob like we used to use the fob. We used to keep the fob, and here's two pro tips. We put the fob on the dog leashes. Yes. And that way when we took the dogs for loops or whatever, we, we had the, the fob. Yeah. Um, and then the second pro tip is always put the RV lock key on your truck keys. Right, because if the battery dies and you don't have the key and it's inside, it's hard to get back. Yeah, then you're screwed with a capital S. At number two. All right. The next thing that we have is the Mopeka gas um, monitor. It tells us how much propane gas we have. And let me tell you, it's come in handy quite a few times. When, like last winter when it was getting cold, we can see how much each one has. And if we have to run up to the gas station and get propane, um, it just it just helps. Yeah, I'm an information junkie. I need to know, you know, what the water levels are. I need to know how much propane we have. I need, I, I've got a need to know. And so having the Mopeka tank sensors, you don't need them. You could just wait till you run out of propane. Right. Or you can know when. You need to go. Get and we have them on both of our tanks. We had those on the passport also. Correct. Uh, we have them on both of our tanks. In the Montana, we name them driver side and passenger side. Wow. So we know when, which tank is getting low and when we need to change it out. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive, and but it sure beats have to go out, especially when it's cold. Oh, you just open up the app on your phone and you can see what where your tank levels are. Yep. And uh, so, yeah, that is, that is a must have. Yeah. You don't need it, but it's a must-have. Yeah, it's really nice having it. 
<laughs> Number three, that's right, it's... Is the mole ride safety rail. Now, every trailer is going to come with a, a handrail system for getting up and down your stairs. But we learned this summer, and we just put this on. I wish we would have done it a while ago, even though they weren't invented a long time ago. But I wish we would have done this sooner because this handrail is so sturdy and it goes all the way to the bottom of the stairs. Right, and it doesn't rub on the door when it's closed and we're traveling. Yeah. That's the best. It's hooked to a magnet, slide it up, and it's twist yeah. tie it shut and it's good to go. Uh, the Moride safety rail handrail system. Yeah, they some some new rigs are coming with them, uh, but if you don't have it, it's a must have. And um, it's definitely a must have for us. All right, so our bonus one is, is our air fryer. You don't need one because we've got the convectional oven, but this comes in handy so much and it's so fast and we can put almost anything in there. If you don't have one, get one. If you don't have one, get one. Okay, so that's gonna do it for the things that you absolutely don't need but we bought them anyway and you'll be glad to get it that's right and don't forget check out all of the other folks in the collaboration they're going to be popping up and they'll be on a playlist at the end uh and don't forget to welcome uh chris and katrina from our everyday getaway we are so excited to be doing this with them and uh hey if you want to go back and look at all the other collaborations they're in playlist on the inter interwebs too so you can check those out. Hey, give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe. Tell a friend. Tell a friend because, I mean, look at this face. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.